Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to estimate the value of pi using Monte Carlo simulation. It's very simple and very easy method. Uh, the idea behind is that, that we define a, a rectangle or a square, since square is a special form of rectangle, with a dimension of 2r into 2r, and then we define a circle inside the rectangle with the dimension of, uh, with the radius of r. Uh, we take the ratio of the area of circle to its area of rectangle, and we get the value of pi by 4. By using Monte Carlo simulation, we will be able to find the area of ratio of the area. So then we multiply by 4 and we get the pi value of pi. And how, how we are generating a circle is that, that we know the equation of circle that is x square plus y square is equal to r square. Uh, and uh, if it's at region, if it, and, we, and if it, it is not at region, then you can use this equation. So just let's move to the code. The code is very simple. You generate uh, uh, length of this uh, x-axis, length of this curve, uh, rectangle, then width of the rectangle. Since in this case it's both length and width are ten ten r squared, so we just generate x and y values, randomly values, and then we do the check, logical check, which of these values that we have generated x and y are actually inside this uh, red area or inside the circle. Once we know these values, we multiply by y, so we only get the values positive for those values which are inside the uh, red circle or inside the circle, and zero for the blue area. Once we know this value, uh, we can we know the ratio that is just the area uh, ratio of the circular area divided by rectangular area, and once we know the ratio, we multiply by four to get the value of pi. Uh, so you can run this program and uh, then finally we draw this scatter plots. Uh, I used 10 to the power 6 values and you can see it's almost 3.146. So if we just change it to for example 3 and I run it, then you can see the of course the accuracy of the value of pi decreases. Uh, it's become 3.212 and of course you can play around with it and see which values give you more accurate results for different simulation numbers of Monte Carlo simulation. Thank you.